Hello everyone, it's Cassie here. Welcome back for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we're going to be making a shaped card and we're going to be using some new products. This is the adorable Sardine Surprise stamp set. I just love this little stamp set. And there's also a coordinating die that you can get along with it. So it will cut out a little can and you can cut out the sardines as well. I just think this one is so cute and it has a lot of potential for cards of, I think, any gender. Um, specifically, you could make some really fun masculine cards with this or tags, because today what I committed to was sort of a tag, uh, but I didn't completely commit to that because it could be added to a card if I really wanted to. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out by coloring all of the images that I stamped out. I did stamp each of them out onto some Express It cardstock using some uh, Blackout Ink by Ink on 3. And what I've learned is with the Blackout Ink, you definitely want to kind of heat set that if you plan to color right away. Just hit it with your heat tool a little bit or let it sit for a little while so that that ink can dry. Otherwise, it will smear a little bit. And I'm using my Olo markers, and I'll put all of those up on the screen. I'm using those red grays for all of my grays. Uh, actually, I was coordinating that that way simply because that's the kind of color cardstock that I have. <laughs> I wanted my can to be gray. Um, but, I mean, artistic license you could use. Whatever colors you wanted, for sure. And I thought this was fitting. We just got off of a vacation to use these sardines. I thought it was fitting because um, we did do some deep sea fishing while we were on vacation. Never done that before. My husband and I have been together for 25 years and we really wanted to do it, but you know, it's kind of pricey. So we waited and we did it on this trip and uh, we won't do it again. <laughs> I'll just say that. I was so sick. I could not even catch any fish. I couldn't even try. Uh, and my poor husband, he did catch fish, but he was very much persevering. I'll just say that. And I will leave it there. But we that does not stop our love of fishing. We just know that our type of fishing is going to have to be from land or maybe in the bay or definitely not out deep sea and not on a giant boat. <laughs> a smaller boat might be better. Uh, anyway, as you can see, I am just using two colors on each of those just to add a little bit of shadowing and shading. And I don't really have any rhyme or reason as to where that's coming from. But yeah, that's that's where we're, we're going with that. And I'm going to use two colors for each of the other that I've chosen. I've chosen this like blue green. And then I also have a red pink color. It's like a red violet. And I just thought that color combo was kind of fun. That way, I really do feel like this tag could be for either one, either man, woman, child, whatever. Could be a lot of fun here. And then we're just going to continue to color. We're going to go back and forth. I didn't have, other than choosing the colors, I didn't really know exactly where I was going to put them until I started slapping that color down. And again, no real rhyme or reason as to where the shadowing is coming from. I suppose I'm putting it more on the bottom of the fish, if that makes any sense. And you could make the bottom either side really because the eye is right in the middle and so I feel like you could make the bottom either end. So I'm going to finish up my coloring but like I said I did get back from vacation recently and so I didn't really get a lot of chance to play with the new release as much as I had wanted but now that I am getting a chance to really look at it oh my goodness it is a beautiful release if you have not gotten a chance to check it out I highly 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 recommend heading over to Trinity Stamps and looking at all the new things so much fun summer stuff um, and a lot of that could be used beyond summer I you know there's a lot of great birthday stuff because it was their birthday celebration so Congratulations to Trinity Stamps for a number of years, and you guys always bring such amazing inspiration and stamps to the industry, and I love to be a part of it. So, all right, yeah, so like I said, we're finishing up our coloring. I'm going to add a little bit of shadowing and shading to this little guy as I flip him around and add that final red-violet color, and then just blend that out just a tiny bit. And I do love my Olos, as you can tell, I use them all the time. And then we'll we'll finish up this little last guy with his little bits and tails and dots. And, and then that's going to do it for the coloring. Then we'll move on to using the matching dies because there are two fish dies. The big die will obviously work for all three of those big fish. And then we'll have the little fish die. 
Once I get those dies tacked down with a little bit of mint tape, we'll run that through our die cutting machine and we'll cut out all the rest of them as well. And then as you can see, I have two extra pieces here. This is the little sardine can. I'm so in love with this idea. You just don't even know. I actually do love canned sardines and canned oysters, all that. <laughs> I love all that. Um, so we're going to make this a little fishing or a birthday fishes card uh, or tag. It could be either one. But this is what you're going to need to make this top part. You'll need these first two dies. As you can see, the one has all that perforation on it, which is great because you can peel that back like a little can. And then that last piece uses just the one big piece. And so I'm going to kind of play around with placement. And then we'll use this stamp called birthday, or this says birthday fishes from that sardine surprise. I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool on that. We are going to stamp that out using some juicy embossing ink. And then we'll cover that with some fine detail white embossing powder because I thought that would just be fun. I, you know, looking back at this, I kind of wish that I had done a little ink blending around the edges of the can just with some, some gray, darker gray to add a little bit more dimension to the uh, can itself. Okay, so we're just going to heat set what we've already put embossing powder over. And then once that's on there, we can attach our little tab. I just think that's such a fun detail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I cannot get over how much I love this die. We'll attach down our little fish to the front as well. Before that though, we are going to add some of the double-sided adhesive foam strips. Those are gonna be perfect for the outside edge. And you don't have to be too crazy careful. Uh, you just kinda of wanna make sure that it's around that entire edge. And um, I mean, you can come in just a little bit because the lip on the can is, is a, you know, a good thickness. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Once you have all that around, don't take it off yet. Don't do what I did. <laughs> I do put the fish in there, you know, kind of playing around with how I want those to look. I don't even know that I actually attached them. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was already in vacay mode <laughs> and that's where we were. So I'm, you're going to want to attach those down or not. You do, you do you, right? Um, attach those down and then make sure to put your gift card in there as well before you actually attach the top. So yeah, I, I did not do that. But I do attach the little fish to the front and then I do grab in some embellishments. The embellishments that I have chosen are the bubblegum embellishments. I'll show you those here in a little bit. There are these beautiful little bobbles. They're this bright pink that goes so perfectly with the pink that I chose to color our little sardines. But yeah, didn't even attach our fish down like a crazy person. Maybe that's the goal. Maybe that's what you want. I don't know. But yeah, should have put my gift card in there. However, I can peel this back a little bit. So that way it'll give the recipient the idea that it does peel back. Like you do want to actually peel it back. Um, you wouldn't have to do a whole lot. And then you could slip that gift card in there. But these are those gorgeous little bubblegum bobbles. I think they're so pretty. And they come in a couple different sizes inside that little container. And I'm just going to use my pickup stick and a little bit of liquid glue to adhere those down. And then once those are on there, that's gonna finish that off. I will probably add maybe, I haven't decided if I'm gonna add this to a card yet. It could be just the way it is. You could hand that off to a recipient just fine. Um, or you could add like a little ribbon to the back of it as well. But there, make sure you add your gift card. <laughs> <laughs> and attach your fish. I hope you like this card or this tag as much as I do. If you do hit that like button, uh, definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Trinity Stamps has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.